today I'm going to show you how to create a Zapier Wix automation. So we can use a service called Zapier to integrate into our Wix website, and it's very simple to do. So I'm going to go ahead and get right into it. Now let's go ahead and open up our Zapier.com dashboard, and you want to go to the top left where it says Create Zap. And the first step is we need to add a trigger, which is an event that starts our Zap or our automation process. So in the search bar here, we want to search for Wix and we want to click on where it says Wix automations. Next, we're going to need to choose an event and there's only one event right here, which is the automation rule. So let's go ahead and click on where it says automation rule and click on where it says continue. And now we need to actually connect our Wix account to our Zapier account. So the way we can do that is by clicking on where it says sign in. And that's going to say adding Zapier integration will allow it to connect Wix automations with third party apps. So what we want to do is click on where it says add to site. If you don't see the screen, you're going to need to sign into your Wix account, but go ahead and click on add to site. And then we can go ahead and click on where it says continue. Next, we want to click on where it says automation rule. And you can see that we have no options available. And this is because I don't have any automations set up on my Wix website. So to go ahead and do that, we need to come to our Wix dashboard. And I'm going to go to the top here and search for automations. And then we want to select the option that says create and manage automated responses by email, chat, and more. So to create a new automation, let's go ahead and click on where it says new automation at the top right. And we have a ton of different options for automation that we can choose from. I'm going to go ahead and click on where it says start from scratch at the left hand side here. And then you can select which type of automation response you want. I'm going to select invoice just for this example. And then under the choose a follow up action, we want to click on where it says connect to Zapier. And then once you have selected this option, go ahead and click on where it says activate. And then we need to name this automation. So I'm just going to say YouTube tutorial just for now. And I'm going to click on where it says save. And now it should say your new automation is now active. And if we head back to Zapier, let's go ahead and click on where it says refresh fields. And we can see that we still don't see this new rule that we created. So let's go ahead and go back and just discard this draft for now. Let's go ahead and click on where it says create a zap again. Then let's search for Wix automations again. And then once again, select the automation rule for the event. Click on where it says continue. For the Wix automations account, let's select our account. Click on where it says continue. And then for the automation rule, we should now see this new automation that we just created, which was called YouTube tutorial. Let's go ahead and select that and click on where it says continue. We can go ahead and click on where it says test trigger. It should say we found an automation. This automation was found on your Wix automations account. And we can see all of this data that we got here just from this test trigger. Let's go ahead and click on where it says continue. And now we are fully integrated with our Wix website. So we can go ahead and add any app event that we want. So if you wanted to add something to your Google Calendar, you could select the Google Calendar. If you wanted to add something to your Google Sheets, you can do that as well. If you want to learn how to set up a custom Wix email, you can watch the video on the screen right now.